Hello guys, welcome again. We are still continuing with our series of CSIM overview videos. Last time we carried out uh, production. Today we are going to look at uh, human resource. And you should note that uh, the human resource will work closely with the research and development department. And uh, in human resource, we just set the number of staff and workers that we need. And we also set uh, their wages per month. If you look at uh, my staffing and cost, you will see that it's divided into three areas. We have uh, the staffing and cost. We have the R&D staffing, the cost which is in a thousand US dollars. So I'll start with my staffing and cost. And uh, here we have a graph that shows me my personal turnover. And uh, if I just explain to you the personnel turnover, this is just the total number of workers who leave my company over a certain period of time. And uh, if I check on the graph, my personal turnover, I didn't have any, any but uh, the market had a market turnover of 7.2. And uh, the R&D personnel efficiency, this is the ability of an employee to perform his or her job effectively and efficiently if he's a, a driver make, making sure that uh, he doesn't come to work late then you have the r d and staffing here under the r d and staffing we have the personnel that we had last round we have the estimated voluntary turnover and uh, this is the percent of employees who choose to leave my company either by retiring or resigning. I have the personnel that are required this round. I just input the values here. Here we have recruitments and layoffs and uh, you can see the sign for recruitment is just a positive value. For layoff is just a, you put here a negative. So recruitment, this is when I add uh, new employees into my company and uh, laying off is when I permanent get rid of some of the workforce. If I go down you have the total turnover and uh, this is the measure of the number of employees who will leave my organization during a specified period of time. We have the wage which is in US dollars, the wages of the employees per month. Here I had uh, 4,000. The training budget, this is, these are uh, the direct and the indirect costs and resources that uh, I use when training my employees in the company. Then we have uh, the total person days available. And uh, this is just the number of days my employees will require to perform a certain amount of work. If you move on to this other side, we have the costs. And uh, we have this, this round and last round, sorry. And uh, because I've finished my round, I'll just give you an overview of what uh, it entails. The layoff cost, this is just uh, the amount that I, I spent while I was laying off uh, some of my workforce. Recruiting costs, again, same with layoff, this is just the amount that I used when uh, hiring additional workforce into my company. We have the wages and employment costs, the training costs other variable research and development cost. And uh, if you look at it down below, we have the total cost. And uh, always remember to check on the total cost to make sure you don't increase the cost each round. So you just uh, aim at uh, reducing the cost. That was it for today. Hope we'll meet again next round. So as we continue the series, subscribe to this video and uh, have a nice time. Thank you.